Alright, so um, yesterday I reviewed a lot of chapter one and Darwin is free. The factory was actually in chapter zero. So it's not even on the review that I assigned you. The review I assigned you came out of chapter one. So this is your only review of um, when we did factoring. So um, we did talk about greatest common factor. It was like the first week of school. So on your um, test, I'm not going to say, oh, this is a GCF or this is a quadratic. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say factor. So um, what's the greatest factor in number one? Four. They all divide by, they both divide by four. They both have the variable X. And they both have at least a Y squared. So not only the number, but the variable is important. I'm going to do parentheses after the GCF, and this is like dividing. It's like dividing it out. So 12 divided by 4 leaves me with a 3 here, and the x and the y squared are, are you know, exact matches, so there'll be none left over. 4 divided by 4 is 1. I had x to the third in the problem, and I'm taking 1x. I'm putting it out front, so that leaves me with x squared. I had y to the third, and I'm factoring y squared out, so that leaves me with y to the first. So you might want to just flip to your note. This must have been August, maybe 15th, around then. You can see some bell work and some notes on that. All right, so I'm um, factoring these trinomials. Um, we talked about it, you know, I started by saying, you know, a quadratic is in form of AX plus BX plus C. So we started by saying what A equals 1, B here is 9, C is 14. And then we did like a little table. There's a whole handout. You're looking for two numbers that would multiply C and to B. So we need to find numbers that multiply to 14 and add to 9. Seven times two. Seven times two is fourteen. Seven plus two is nine. So once we pick our factors, we just put our variable in our parentheses um, with those numbers. So yeah, that, that definitely rings the bell. We, we spent, you know, two, two class periods on that. One and a half, two. So in number three, I would say that A equals one, B is a negative 14. C is a 33. So we're going to multiply to 33. You know, I thought that was a good one, but it's kind of disappointing because almost nobody can multiply to 33. And I want to add to negative 14. So what multiplies to uh, 33? 11 times 3 makes 33, and I'm just going to draw this out. Um, 11 plus 3 makes a positive 14. So if I need this to be negative 14, I'm just going to play with the sign, right? So maybe I try negative 11 times negative 3 makes a positive 33. And negative 11 minus 3 is negative 14. So if you find the numbers and the signs don't work, you just play around with it until they do. X minus 11, X minus 3. Okay, we remember this.
What are you good at? All right, um, tell me numbers that multiply to negative 50. Oh, you switched it up? We should do it different. Okay. All right, Chad, so let's uh, do number four, but multiplies a negative fifty. Okay, one of the ends. Okay, so the hint I told you is if you're looking for a positive B, the bigger number that you're considering is positive. So we'll make the 10 positive, negative 5 plus 10 is 5. Negative 5, 10 is negative 50. So we have a minus 5 and a plus 10. Franco, were you here when we covered this in this class? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, um, number five, there's something going on there. It has a GCF, it has the greatest common factor. What is the um, GCF? Emily. So we're going to divide everything by a 4 and take that 4 out. If you didn't do that, you got to redo it. It's not done right. So that's x squared plus 3x minus 40. Anybody? So now we're going to continue with what's inside here. A is 1, B is 3, C is negative 40. So I didn't tell my table out because I knew I was going to take the GCF. So I'm going to multiply to negative 40, that's a 4, and add to 3. You got it? What is it? What multiplies to negative 40? No, that far? Okay. Um, positive 8, negative 5. Alright, take a look at what you boxed. Make sure the 4 is out front. I will say some of the most accurate students don't real quickly, so don't feel bad about that. Is there a four up front? Yeah. This is the last one. It's going to be okay. This is the last. Is it the same? Last one. Shoot. Um, none of it at all. Okay, so it's supposed to look like this. But it's 16 and, okay, it's an M. That doesn't really matter. And then there's nothing in the middle, so I'm actually going to put a zero. And C is 49, so we got 
A is 16 and C is negative 49. So I want to, oh, I don't even know if I taught you this one. Does this one seem extra tricky? Um, what I will say is I taught you the name. I taught you the name pretty good. What's the name of this? Yeah, it's one of those. It's the difference of two perfect squares. I just never really did one with you this difficult. But it's not difficult. It's not. It's okay. Once you see it, you'll be like, of course. Difference of two perfect squares. So we're just going to square root. We did easier ones. The easier ones just didn't have an A value. Um, but those, those both square root. What's the square root of 16? So I'm going to put a 4 in first. What's the square root of that other number? Do a plus and a minus. Those are the easiest problems to factor. So. Well, it looks overwhelming. It's just square root. And I did teach you the name. Oh, maybe do a bonus. Well, what about, wait, let me just, let me do one that... I know you guys don't like it when I talk about things I didn't cover. So let's do one that I did cover. This one I did. This one I did. There's a one in front. Because of the 16 in front, I square rooted it. The square root of 16 is 4. Because remember to check it, we would foil. So if I did 4 yeah, times 4, I would just 7 times 7 is 49. And I have a positive 20 and a negative 20. So if there's a number in front, I can square root it. That's kind of new. Yeah, just now. That? What's this one? How do you multiply to 81 and add to 0? You guys get answers for days. How would I just stump it? It's the square root of 81, Matt. No, 9. Okay. No one, no one here. Okay. We good? Desiree, you're good on that? Okay. And um, Hayden's all caught up. Remember that? Yeah. All right, that's all I got. So you guys are just working in your textbook for the rest of class. I am going to go ahead. I'm starting with 27 just as a request, but then I'll go back to where I left off yesterday. Um, I was talking, and you guys said you got a common denominator perfect. I'm actually going to make the denominator 6. I don't know if you made it 12, but I'm going to make it 6. You figured it out. No, like yeah. no, I'm going to reduce this. No. There's a one there. Do you know where I got the three from? Oh, um, this one. 1x added to 2x is 3x. So this is a common denominator. These are like terms, so I can add that numerator to get 3x's. 3 over 6 is really 1 over 2. And now, I'm going to cross multiply. Butterfly. Can your teacher see that?
Cold Rowan. Oh, okay. So if, if you're not on 27 yet, feel free to take a picture of this before I scroll away from it. It'll be on today's video, but, you know, maybe you just want to be able to flip through your, your phone while you're in the back seat and you're ready to do your homework. Right. Who's got a question about how to do it? Oh, no, I got it right. I just, I did it. I was going to be 12. Right. You probably know we're going to be 12 at the end. Just reduce it. I didn't do that. Same answer. Okay, so now I'm going to go to 26. Oh, or did you figure that one out? Is that really what you're on? Is 26? 26 is 23 over 2. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do 26 over 30. 26? 23 over 2. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the next one that we got is the twenty eight, correct? The twenty eight. Maybe thirty. So I'm hearing you guys are asking questions about the facts and making sure that you're feeling like, oh no, they didn't do it right. Well, all those facts are amazing. That's right. Okay.
What do you mean?
should be the distance should be only one sixteenth away from what you want right so that's how you set up the absolute value for that word problem you do the plus or the minus and that's how you get it oh. 